What's up my fine apples? Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a beauty haul. So in my other video for Wet n Wild, I hauled a bunch of different stuff. It was my first order from Wet n Wild and I swatched everything and I showed you what I picked up. I asked you in that video if you guys even like hauls because I haven't done a haul in quite a while and you guys said yes. So I'm here today with my haul from Sephora and also Ulta. I have hair stuff, makeup, and also skincare. So not just only makeup stuff. I'm not gonna show you any PR. These are all my own personal purchases and yeah. So before before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday and my vlog channel is with, with Lizzie Vlog. So let's get into this haul. Woo! So I'm excited because I am teaming up with Ebates for this video and I'm really excited also because a big thank you to Ebates because they are hooking up one of my fine apples for a chance to win a $100 Visa gift card. So thank you so much. And I'll link all the information down below. If you guys don't know what Ebates is, I have talked about Ebates so many times within all my videos. Ebates is a site and they also have an app you can put on your phone and it is completely free and you get cash back for shopping at your norm normal stores. So say for instance, my main stores that I use it for is Forever 21, Sephora, Ulta, Amazon, and Macy's. Highly recommend that you sign up because you are getting cash back for just shopping online because there's always different percentages, like sometimes it's seven, eight, 10. They can even do triple cash back, which they did during the Christmas season, which was crazy. Now, right now you wanna sign up because some of the stores are gonna go up to 14% cash back for Valentine's Day, so definitely take advantage of that. So I'm gonna give you an example. Say for instance, you were shopping on Sephora, you just go on the website like normal normal ebates.com go underneath your account then you'll just search Sephora and then bam it'll show you all the cash back that you can get for today for that time frame because it changes like I said there'll be like some promotional days and all that but what I also love is it's gonna tell you how much cash back you're gonna get from your purchase but the bonus is it always gives you like all the coupon codes on the side. You guys know we love our coupon codes. You can get a free gift or a percentage off or a free expedited shipping. And it does that with all the different brands. I don't know, it's kind of like a twofer. You get your cash back and it gives you all the coupon codes in front of you. I've been using Ebates, I don't know for how many years now. It's probably been like way over four years. I think it's been over four years that I've been using Ebates and I've gotten so much cash back, and especially I always say during Christmas time when I do all my Christmas shopping. What I like about it is that it's not like a selective brand, like they only have like 20 brands. They have over 2,500 brands. So it's not just like main big brands. So I'm gonna make sure to leave everything linked down below. Go ahead and sign up. Also the information for the giveaway because that is part of the rules that you have to sign up and I'll link everything down below. All right guys, so now let's get into the haul. I'm gonna start off with Sephora because I don't know, I'm just gonna start off with Sephora. I have the least amount of products from there and it's basically all skincare. So let's start off with the first product and I took the plunge and I got the Tatcha Violet C Brightening Serum. I did this purchase last, <clears throat> I'm like choking because I was so hungry I ate a banana and I feel like some of it's in my throat. Like any other brand, there's always like hits or misses, but their packaging is always just so, just so pretty. Like, look at this bottle. Look how pretty this is. So this is just a brightening serum, and it says Japanese Angelica Root plus dual vitamin C for all skin types. Gentle strength solution for softer, visibly brighter, more even skin tone. Um, and it just tells you what all the ingredients do. It's basically just helped to resurface dull skin and just to help brighten, which I absolutely love. Right now, my skin is just... The texture is really good. I just feel like I need some brightening in my skin. Whenever I try out skincare products though, I try them out for a really long time because you won't really see results overnight. Next up I have the Peach Perfect um, from Too Faced. I absolutely love this foundation. This is like one of my go-tos. I've been kind of rationing it out. It's super similar to the Urban Decay One and Done and I think that's why I like it. It's very effortless, it's easy to blend. I'm in the shade Warm Beige and it's not matte. It's a very nice satin finish so I'm not really sure why they call it the comfort matte foundation because it's not flat matte at all but you know I like that when I repurchase like a foundation that I just finished because I have like a lot of foundations I try out but that's like one of my top ones oh my gosh I did get this <laughs> okay I obviously like really took the plunge because I got another Tatcha product and I have the rice polish classic I've heard nothing but good things about this this is just a foaming enzyme powder let's see what it says in the back it says this gentle water activated exfoliant transforms to a creamy cloud foam polishing the skin to a smooth luster and revealing a natural glow and it says it's gentle enough for everyday use with this price tag, you know I'm gonna be using this every single day. I haven't tried a lot of Tatcha products. Like, I'm obsessed with the water cream and I have super been rationing this out 
it is like almost gone. It's like just the sides and I'm honestly so sad about it. I have the Potency Bright and Plump Moisturizer. This one is from Peter Thomas Roth. They have my Holy Grail under eye patches. I love any of them, the cucumber to the gold ones, even their Hydro Cloud ones, obsessed. So. I'm not even gonna lie. It was the picture that really sold me. I mean, I personally feel like you don't really see pictures like that on like high-end products as much. It kind of looks like gimmicky like hey, you can get this for only $14.99 But if you order within the next five minutes, you get a second for half off. That's what this picture kind of reminds me those infomercials You're like, yes, I need it. I saw this and I was like, I'll let you know, but I like anything that's gonna plump the skin. One of my favorites is the collagen something booster from rapid collagen something from Murad that is like $80 though and it's super expensive and it's pretty small and I was just like let me try something else maybe I can find like a cheaper alternative but skincare is freaking pricey and that is all I got I just got those items and I just remember when I was checking out I'm just like wow the investment into skin is for real okay so now let's go on to my Ulta haul I decided just to go just because I had like a gift card and I have gift cards from like Christmas so that's why I was just like okay Okay, let's just use those. I'm excited I did because when you walked right in, there was a whole display and I took the plunge, another plunge, I just keep swimming. And I got the James Charles palette. I have not really seen a lot of reviews on this. <laughs> why I you would think that I would say I saw so many reviews that I needed it I actually didn't look at any of them they didn't really like I don't know I I'm you guys know I'm kind of like wishy-washy with Morphe I love the Jaclyn Hill palette though I really love it so I figured okay this one has to be good so I'm excited to try it out let me know if you guys are so interested in this thing because I feel like it already like had its day and passed and I have a Morphe store at my mall and um, but okay so this is what it looks like. It is super mega, like really, really mega. Actually, really big. Here it is. Okay, so you know what I wish? Like whenever they have the slip with all the names, I'm gonna, I should just toss this now because I'm gonna end up losing it. I just wish they would print the names on the palette itself, but whatever. Here are all the shades. Wow. I love how he has like a lot of the main transition shades bigger. That's pretty smart. Ooh, and a nice base. I love that. So many color. Wow. Oh my gosh, I thought I freaking hit it. So I got so scared because I have my nails. Okay, this is really pretty. I will say that. I'm always dropping stuff. Oh my gosh, that looks really pretty. Let's just, oh wow. Pretty like iridescent purple. Not super pigmented, but I'm sure like if you wet it, it's gonna be really pretty. So next up, I picked up some lash glues. I'm someone where if I'm gonna wear lashes, which it's a lot, it's a lot. And right now I'm just wearing some wispy ones from Ardell. Um, I always have a lash glue on deck in a gym bag. Yes, I said gym bag first. <laughs> in my purse, in my car, and I feel like I've been running out of my uh, lash adhesives. So I wanted to pick two up. I really love the quick set. It's a really good one. This one is in black from Duo. And then I saw this one and this one is new and this one says the quick set strip oh wait did I buy the wrong oh I think oh no I I picked up three I was supposed to put one back no okay well anyhow I socked up on lash glue so your girl won't be losing her lashes anytime soon <laughs> I totally forgot to put one back and I know I was supposed to put the dark tone because I have one right now Oh well, it'll be a backup. Then I went ahead and got the quick set in clear just because for days like this where I wear just my lashes, I need a clear one because usually I'm not about clear for some reason. I've always loved black because I usually always line my eyes. But now that's like not the case. I'm really not lining my eyes all the time. I mean, it may seem like that because I mean, you only see so much of me on camera, but I do a lot of looks lately with just like putting on my lashes like this with no liner. So obviously I need something clear. So that's why I picked it up. I really like it. I think it has a really nice strong hold and I don't think like it gets stuck in my lashes. A little bits in, uh, here and there, but not as much as like House of Lashes glue. That glue I just cannot. I just think it's so unhealthy for like the lashes for it to be stuck like that. This was what I was gonna show you. So now Duo has literally a Duo, a Duo lash glue, which I thought was super cool. Two in one, so you have clear on one side and then you have black on the other. I think that is super, super convenient. I think this is gonna be great, especially Especially if you are an artist and you need glue in your kit and you love glue. I mean, <laughs> if you love glue. <laughs> I mean, if you love duo. 
<laughs> yeah, I love glue. If you love duo, so if you need like a clear or a dark for your clients or say you just want to just have one glue on deck in your makeup collection, this is super handy. I thought this was like the most convenient. I kind of just want to keep this like whenever I'm with like anybody and they just need like a little touch up. I'm like, oh girl, I got clear. Oh, don't worry. I have dark too. I have not tried this foundation yet and this is the Becca Skin Love. Now this one is a weightless blur foundation. It's infused with glow nectar, brightening complex and... Vitamin C, there's cold pressed avocado and melon blend. Wow, and bitter ginger. Sounds like a drink to me. <laughs> so it says a breathable medium coverage liquid with foundation with a buildable finish that enhances your natural beauty of your skin. So I'm really excited because I like more natural wearing foundations. I don't like anything too full coverage. I picked up the shade Driftwood. Not sure if that's gonna be my shade. I'm pretty sure though, cause I swatched it in the store and I think it'll be good. If anything, I don't wanna to go too dark because if it is lighter, I can kind of, you know, spruce it up with uh, bronzer and stuff like that, but I'm excited to try this. I just want something really natural, kind of like the one and done, and then also the Too Faced Comfort Matte. Those are like the types of foundations I've really been gravitating towards. Something that doesn't feel heavy, but like, just balances out my skin with one pump and boom, I'm good to go. I finally got the Eco Tools uh, Total Perfecting Blender. I've heard so many people on random channels always talk about this sponge. It says 50% better application than the leading prestige sponge. I'm not about the booty bender life, AKA beauty blender. Those rip on me all the time. I will never buy one ever again. Like the ones I have, that's all. I'm, I mean, never say never, but I love my Sigma 3D HD. I think it is just so bomb. It's just too good of a sponge. For Beauty Blender, I just think it's not worth it and I think they always rip so I'm always trying to find like a good alternative and then I had to pick up the Real Techniques because I haven't used this in a long time. I loved it in the beginning and then I got a second one and then I felt like they kind of changed like the material of it and people were saying that too and it didn't end up being my favorite, but now it says number one makeup sponge, so I had to try it out. I, I mean, I have to try it out again just to give it another go. I'm sure they maybe revamped it again since the last time I tried it because that was like years ago. Next up, I decided to spoil myself since I had like my gift cards and stuff from Christmas, and I got a Gucci Bloom Aqua di Fiori. And I love this perfume because it smells super nice and fresh. I decided just to get the little small one because it's already expensive, but it feels so heavy. It's just really fresh, but I smell like citrus. I don't know, it's just like one of those scents you just gotta smell because I am not the best. It's not very like floral scented at all. You guys already know, it's so hard describing scents. Just go smell it, it smells really good. So the girl there, um, let me just show you guys this. She gave me the First Light Priming Filter and also the Their Real Benefit Mascara. I thought that was really cool because I feel like when you order online, you don't get that option. You kind of get like the really crappy, do you want the skincare or makeup? And then it's just like, little packets and they are just absolutely terrible. So yeah, I'm really excited I went in store because then I got these and I was just like, wow, I don't know why, but she's like, oh, let me give you some stuff. I'm like, okay. Now, obviously I have recently dyed my hair and with that, I cannot just use my regular shampoo and conditioner. Just getting a little bit more drier as the weeks go on because I've been using so many hair masks, but just like a daily shampoo and conditioner, I just noticed like my hair just feels a little bit more dry for some reason and the color isn't as vibrant. So I wanna keep that. So I got so many recommendations for you, from you guys from the Olaplex, but I don't think they carry that at Ulta. So I went with the one that the girl suggested and she said this is what a lot of people buy. And this is the Matrix line, the Biolage. I used to use this like years ago when I really used to like bleach my hair and I was like, all right, well, I guess it's still doing good. So I got the Color Last conditioner and shampoo. I got the smaller sets just so I can try out. I did see some travel ones of it, but I feel like I just have to give it a good go. Plus I just need shampoo and conditioner for color treated hair period. So I still got like the smaller ones. So I picked up a lipstick. I wasn't supposed to pick up a lipstick. I said if I picked any lipstick up, it was supposed to be a super affordable brand. And I picked up a Buxom. I just love this line in particular. This is the gel one, the bold gel lipstick. I have Poison Nectar, which is the most beautiful peachy orange nude. Oh my gosh, it is so nice. And it doesn't dry out my lips. It is amazing. So I wanted to pick up another shade and I got Rebel Rose and I think it looks so nice. It's like a great everyday like pink color. I love the magnetic top from it. And let me just do a swatch. Ooh, I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. It's just like an everyday like pink. 
just like a rose pink just like a nice one I'm excited about it because I just know this formula is so good it's just like super super moisturizing and I told myself not to buy lashes because I already have my whole box of wispy lashes and I just said don't do it and I got this one because they just look way too pretty and this these are the 814 the foam mink and look at them I love how fluttery they are I mean how can you pass those up those look freaking sick like I love them I can't wait because I want to wear them on days where I just wear lashes like this because I think they'll look like natural lash extensions. I only got my hands on this, the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder. I'm really excited. I hope, hopefully this is my shade, Golden. Um, it seemed like the shades were a little bit different than their foundations, so I'm happy of this. What I'm kind of unhappy is that L'Oreal, it's like literally my holy grail freaking powder and I cannot remember. The L'Oreal Pro Matte, that's what it is. The L'Oreal Pro Matte Powder is my holy grail. I used it, I bought it, I used it for like maybe two weeks and I don't know where it went and it disappeared and I am so sad because that thing I think is $14.99 but it's amazing and it lasts forever and then you can coupon it up obviously but I was just so sad because I only had it for two weeks and I'm just like, where is it, where is it? And this happened a couple months ago. So I was like all bitter about it just kind of going through like the powders I have, but that one is just like my favorite. So when I was inside Ulta, I looked and they only had four shades, like how they have online. I'm just like, oh, what skirt? No, I was so upset. I was like, dude, where is sun beige? How can you only have four powders in this line? Like that is crazy. There's no restocking. There's no room for the other shades. Uh, not gonna lie, I was pretty like upset about it. I'm like, how can you have the foundations and not all the powders made no sense. And then the last thing I got was the Orly Breathable Nail Polish. And this one is in the shade Pamper Me. I got this because it was on clearance and I actually like the Orly Breathable line. And I believe it was only four bucks. And I think originally they're like about seven or eight. So I got on it. I think I'm gonna have my nails like this pastel pink for maybe Valentine's Day. Not sure yet, but I'm excited it was on clearance. All right guys, well that is it for my haul. This is everything I picked up from Sephora and also Ulta. Let me know down below if there's anything that you guys want me to try out or kind of show within my channel. I'll give some time to the skincare products from Sephora just so I can like try them out and all of that, but yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get going. Don't forget to check the links down below for the giveaway and sign up for Ebates. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday and I will see you beautiful pineapples in the next one. Mwah. Here we go, it's all about you. It's all about me, it's all about what we do. Making art, you and me. Trying to find something to believe.